Good morning everybody, it's Ian at RTO here. Welcome to another band ranking, welcome to the the big one. It's Wednesday, marathon band ranking. Uh, today is again another viewer request. And today we're looking at German heavy metal band, except formed in 1976 by guitarist Wolf Hoffmann and former members Udo Dirk Schneider, I hope I've pronounced his name right, and Peter Baltes who played bass. But their beginnings can go back to the 60s apparently. Um, they started under a name called Band X. The lineup has changed over the years with guitarists and basses and drummers. Um, there's a bit drum guitarists that have come back, gone away, singers come back and have another go. Um, but the only one that's been there all the time is Wolf Hoffman. Um, they've, they had a Titius as well. Um, but they're still going strong today and they released an album not very long ago. Um, they have released 16 studio albums. Um, so let's take a look at heavy metal giants from uh, from Germany. Okay, coming in at number 16 then. Um, it's the eighth album recorded in, released in, sorry, in 1989, Eat the Heat. On here we have got David Rees on vocals. I think this is the only album he done with them. Um, Wolf Hoffman, Peter Baltes on the bass and Stefan Kaufman on the drums. First track is XTC, like this track, it's the best one on the album, without a doubt. Um, Prisoner, a little bit too weak, too much keyboard, it doesn't really sound like an accept track. Love Sensation, again there's nothing special about this one. Chain Reaction, this is more AOR than heavy metal. It just doesn't do anything for anybody. Stand for what you are. Oh, one of them wishy-washy power ballads. Except a uh, good guitar solo from Wolf Hoffman. That's all I can say about that one. D Train. This isn't too bad, I suppose. Some great drumming here from Stefan Kaufman. And that, Kaufman, sorry. And that's all I can say, really. Um... Generator Clash. Peter's bass line is good. Uh, he's always delivered a great um, bass line. Even David's vocals are not too bad on this one. Turn the Wheel. It's alright, I, I suppose, but David is trying to sound like Udo. No one will ever sound like him, so don't bother. Hellhammer. Not my cup of tea at all. It's just a bit cheesy. Mistreated. Ooh, it's not very good, except the guitar solo. Unfortunately, this is at the bottom of the pile for a reason. There's not many good songs on it. It's just a little bit overproduced. Um, singing's not particularly strong either. But there are a couple of good tracks on it. Uh, so I'm going to give it an RTO ranking of 5 out of 10. Okay then, coming in at number 15, we have the second album, released in 1980, I'm a Rebel. So we've got U Erdo, Udo, I can't remember how to pronounce his name, Dirk Schneider, Wolf Hoffman, Jörg Feischer, Peter Boltz and Stefan Kaufman on the drums. Opening track is the title track, I'm a Rebel. Not a bad track at all, pretty cool. Save Us, got some really nice riffs on this one. Again, I don't mind that one at all. No Time To Lose, uh, it's a little bit wishy-washy for me, Don't not very keen on it. Thunder and Lightning, great track. Nice riffs here, great vocal for Mudo. He's got a unique voice. Uh, China Lady, my favourite track off this album. 
I love the opening riff there and the drums from Stefan Kaufman are fantastic. I want to be no hero. Very disco-y in places, the drums. But I don't like that one much. The King. I, I, I think it's probably one of Udo's uh, worst vocally, vocals. It doesn't sound right at all. Do it. Nice little rockers win the album. Got some really good tracks on here, but it's also got some weak tracks. And I think they took a step backwards from their debut album. And so I'm going to give this an RTO ranking of 6 out of 10. Talking of the debut album, it comes in at number 14, self-titled Accept, except uh, from 1979... The drums on here are played by a drummer called Frank Frederick, but he did he chose not to pursue a music career, so on the tour Stefan Kaufman took took over. So the musicians on here are Udo Dirk Schneider on the vocals, Wolf Hoffman lead guitar, Jörg Feischer rhythm and lead guitar, Peter Boltz Boltes on the bass, and Frank Friedrich on the drums. First track is Lady Lou. Uh, nice track, great little heavy metal track here from the 70, late seventies. Awesome stuff. Um, Tired of Me. Good solo here from Wolf Hoffman. Excellent, excellent track. Sea Winds. Nice ballad. This sounds a bit like them that early Scorpion sort of ballads. It's okay. Take him in my heart. Great little rocker here. Nice riffs. My favourite track. Sounds of War. Um, it's just that little European rock track. Yeah, not that. It's alright. Free Me Now is Fast and Furious Metal. Great riffs on here. Some tremendous drumming here by Frank Friedrich. Got to Be Alone. I love the two guitarists on this, Hoffman and Feischer. It's got that classic heavy metal sound. That's rock and roll. I've got my doubts about this one. I think it's just too fast. It just doesn't. People seem to be left behind on that. Um, Hell Driver. It's not too bad. Street Fighter. Not the best at track, I'm afraid. Okay, as a debut album, it's pretty good. It's got some strong tracks on it. Um, but I think what lets it down is the production a little bit. Um, I mean, I've heard these tracks on live albums and they sound a lot better. But on the whole, pretty solid start. So I'm going to give this an RTO ranking of 6.5. Okay, coming in at number 13 got the seventh album released in 1986 Russian Roulette it would be the last except album that um, Udo would feature on until 1993 so we've got Udo Dirk Schneider Wolf Hoffman on guitars Jörg Feischer Peter Boltz and Stefan Kaufman first track is TV War not a bad track Ferocious drumming here from Stefan Kaufman. Um, and the interplay between Wolf and York. Pretty cool. Monster Man. Just what it says on the tin, really. It's, it's that de definitive heavy metal riff. Pretty alright. Russian Roulette. Good guitar solo, but there's a lot of sort of chanting, that cheesy chanting. With the fists in the air type stuff, and uh, it doesn't do nothing for me. It's a hard way to. F it's hard to find a way. It's all right. Not the best track on the album. Aiming high. Um, I like this one. I love Udo's um, vocal or Udo. Um, it's great riffs in it as well. Heaven is hell. That's okay. 
it's not particularly one of my favourites. Um, another second to be, another solid track, great riffs here, great solo, great stuff. Walking in the Shadow, now I love this. Love that drum at the beginning from Stefan. The double bass drum sounds belting under the headphones. Um, the rest of the track is just brilliant, great vocal and a driving bass line. Men Enough to Cry, just great rock and roll heavy metal style, brilliant. Stand Tight, more cheesy chanting, I just don't like that cheesy chant. <laughs> nah. Again, a good album. Uh, it's got some good tracks on it, pleasant enough to listen to. So I'm going to give it an RTO ranking of 7 out of 10. Okay, coming in at number 12, we get to the 11th album from 1996, Predator. This was Xep's last album before the Hatius, and it was the last time that Udo Dirk Schneider would sing with the band. So we got Udo Wolf Peter on here. Uh, no, the drummer on here is Michael Catalone except on Primitive and uh, let's have a look at the tracks first track is Hard Attack love this track great guitar work from Wolf Holfman on this he does all the guitars on this and it sounds pretty good Crossroads one of the weaker tracks on this not very keen on that one uh, Making Me Scream love that riff at the beginning when you put it on the headphones again it goes from speaker to speaker you just, ooh, 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 it's pretty good digging the dirt love this scott this track although udo sounds a little bit too much like bon scott on this but uh it's still a good vocal lay it down it's more that cheesy um chanting Nah, some nice wow wow on that though. It ain't over yet. Cracking bass line from Peter. Great drumming as well from this chap Michael called Tolaney. Whatever his name is. Um, Predator. Heavy rock. Great track. Crucified. Fast and furious heavy metal. Take out the crime. I just love the drumming on this, my favourite track. It's just heavy. Don't give a damn, love the drumming again on this. It's just brilliant. Run through the night. It's all right, not too bad. Primitive. It's all right, nothing brilliant though. Good brace line though. Great production on this. It's raw and a good way for Udo to sign off, I think. So I'm going to give this an RTO ranking of 7.3. Okay, coming in at number 11, 14th album, released in 2014, Blind Rage. This was the last album that, with Herman Frank and drummer Stefan Schwartzman. So we've got Mark Tolino on the vocals now, Wolf Hoffman, Herman Frank, Peter Baltes and Stefan Schwartzman on the drums. Opening track, Stampede, solid track. Great drumming here from Stefan Schwartzman, awesome stuff. Uh, Dying Breed, solid track. Just good, good old heavy metal. Um, Dark Side of My Heart, one of Peter's signature bass lines and great singing here from Mark Torlino or Tornillo again I do apologise my pronunciation of German names is atrocious um, Fall of the Empire mini heavy metal classic here it's good it's an interesting riff catchy bass line again it's a fantastic track Trial of Tears one of them fast 
furious heavy metal tracks sort of stuff that really gets you going want to be free it's okay it's not a bad track I'm not a fan of some of these slower tracks that uh, except do it there's some good ones but this is not one of them but what makes this bad is that chanty chanty sort of backing vocal I don't like it cheesy uh, 200 years excellent track blood bad mastermind not bad got a nice riff in it ashes from the ashes we rise this is one where the chanting backing vocals actually works gives it a bit more feel um, the curse good track guitar work on this is fantastic nice solo pieces nice little riffs and licks and stuff final journey great guitar riffs and solos again what a great track this is really good album there's a lot of great um, interplay here between Herman Frank and Wolf Holman so I'm going to give it an RTO ranking of 7.5 okay then coming in at number 10 fourth album Restless and Wild the least in 1982 in continental Europe and then 83 in the US and UK There's also this is the first album that Udo sings every track on. So we've got on this album Udo Dirk Schneider, Wolf Holman, Herman Frank. Although he is accredited, he doesn't appear on the album. Um, Peter Baltes and Stefan Kaufman. First track, Fast as a Shark. I like the start of this. It starts off with a little bit of this traditional German um papa music and then you get this needle that goes across the record <laughs> and then we get some heavy riffs and from both wolf and herman belter absolutely brilliant um restless and wild the title track i love that galloping drum from uh stephen kaufman it feels like you're riding along with the track it's absolutely brilliant um head of the pack nice guitar guitar effects on this one solid piece of work from mr hoffman um shake your heads it's not too bad it's got a bit of that cheesy chanting oh it does great me but it's not too bad neon nights nothing to do with black sabbath but again a great track love the guitar effects from wolf hoffman on this uh the riff's good and it's got a great solo get ready um it's all right again it's a bit cheesy um demon's night love the riff here but Udo's vocal is a little bit strained i think he's hitting notes that he just can't get to um flash rocking man ripping track here this is great licks from Hoffman, excellent stuff. Don't go stealing my soul away. Solid track. Princes of the Dawn. It's not a particular fucking favourite of mine, I'm afraid. Not my cup of tea on this album, that track. But apart from that, it's a really good album. Uh, the sound quality is pretty good. It's nice and raw heavy metal. So I'm going to give this an RTO ranking of 7.6. Okay, then coming in at number nine, we go to the 16th and most current album released on in 2021, Too Mean to Die. This is the first except album to, to feature Martin Molnink, who replaced Peter Baltes. And it's the first one that Philip, um, Philip Schuss as well so on here we've got mark tornillo on vocals wolf hoffman on lead guitar you luis on rhythm guitar philip seuss on the third guitar martin motnik on the bass and christopher williams on drums um so they've gone with that three guitarists just like heavy 
metal greats, Iron Maiden. Um, first track, Zombie Acopulix. Can't say the word. Never have. <laughs> really good track. Love the riffs on here. You can definitely tell the three guitars and a great vocal from Mark Tolino. Too Mean to Die, the title track. Good song again. Strong riffs. Great drumming from Christopher Williams. Um, Overnight Sensation. Solid heavy metal here. Really, really strong track. No, no one's master. Uh, just it's all right. It's not particularly fantastic. It's a little bit manufactured heavy metal. The Undertaker. Although this has got some che a cheesy chant on it, I like the riffs in this. Sucks to be you. All I say about this track is a great track. It's 1981 style heavy metal just brought up to date for the 21st century great track uh, Symphony of Pain another solid track How Do We Sleep typical heavy metal song here it's good enough to be on the album that's all I'll say bit of a filler Not My Problem cracking track love the riffs on this Mark's vocal is really, really good. Sounding very much like Udo. Great track. Samson and Delilah. That's okay. The riffs and guitar solos are awesome though. Okay, very strong album. Um, the three guitar thing pretty worked well on this. Uh, it's just a revamp of heavy metal from, from the 80s though. And I do like it. So I'm going to give this an RTO ranking of 7.8. Okay, coming in at number 8, we have the third album from 1981, Breaker. So on here we've got Udo, Wolf, Jorg, Peter and Stefan Kaufman. Opens up with the track Starlight. Great opener here to the album. Got some wicked guitar licks on this. Absolutely top draw stuff. Breaker, oh, it's all right. It's not a bad track, but it's not brilliant either. Um, run if you can. And maybe I'm just getting old here, but I just love that old heavy metal. <laughs> I love it. Um, can't stand the night. Bit of a power ballad going on here. It's all right. Son of a bitch. Um, a great riff. But there's no need, as Mr. Spock would put it, for colourful metaphors. Metaphors. But I'll do a lot of the guitar solo. Burning, brilliant. It's heavy metal rock and roll, folks, at its best. Feelings, don't mind this one again. Pretty solid riffs on this. Midnight Highway, one of the weaker tracks on the album. I'm afraid not particularly brilliant. Breaking up again, again. Bit of a filler. Um, down and out, good track. The production on here and the drums is a little bit weak. They need to be a little bit more heavier. More heavier. Um, solid album. I think it's the first of the Accept albums that you really get to know what they're going to be doing. It's their signature sound is coming out. Udo's vocals are getting stronger. So I'm going to give this an RTO ranking of 8 out of 10. Okay, coming in at number 7. We have the 12th album. First studio recording since 1996. I haven't put the year down, so I think this is the, like, the comeback album. Um... It was the first that featured Mark Tolino and drummer Stefan Schwartzman. It's the first time Udo hadn't appeared on vocals for many years. And it was the first time that Frank Herman Frank had played since 1983. So we've got Mark Tolino, Wolf Hoffman, Herman Frank, Peter Baltes and Stefan Schwartz. First track, excuse my French, Beat the Bastards. Uh, very mellow singing here. Some great riffs though. 
Teutronic Terror, great track. Riffs are galore in this. The Abyss, right, start, the riffs are really good. Herman Frank plays some nice guitar on here. Squealing from Tornilo is brilliant, great track. Blood of Nations, love the guitar work on this. Both Herman and Wolf are playing brilliantly together. Great drumming from Stefan Schwartzman. Shades of Death, another strong track here. Nothing wrong with this one. Mark is absolutely on fire on that. Um, locked and Loaded, Fast Furious Heavy Metal, Killing Drums from Stefan Schwartzman. Kill the Pain, this is going to be the best slower track from this band. Some great guitar work here and the solo is absolutely fantastic. Rolling Thunder, great track, great solo from Herman Frank here. He does the lead on this one and it is pretty good. Pandemic. <laughs> Quite ironic track, isn't it? Starts off with that classic heavy metal double guitar riff in terrific. New World coming. Stonking bass line here from Peter. One of his best. Um, no Shelter. Fast and Furious again. But it's spoiled by the chant in um, backing vocal. Bucket Full of Hate. Now the start of this reminds me of Bon Jovi's Tokyo Road. But then it goes off into a heavy metal track with that bass and double drum sound. Excellent. First album up for Mark Tor Tornillo. Did a brilliant job. Strong album. Very strong tracks on this album. And I'll give it an RTO ranking of 8.2 ok coming in at number 6 we have the 6th album from 1985 Metal Heart this also is an, an album that is the return of Jörg Feischer after a 2 year absence um, so we've got Udo Dirkschneider, Wolf Hoffman Jörg Feischer, Peter Boltes, and Stefan Corman. Opening track, Metal Heart. It's one of them, the first minute is all this dramatic choral sound. You know, typical sort of heavy metal opening to a, gig, a heavy metal gig. And then we come in with a really strong bass line from Peter and Udo is really on fire on this great track best one on the album Midnight Mover another solid track uh, great guitar work here Up the Limit solid enough track Right is Wrong Fast and Furious drumming from Stefan Kaufman uh, the guitar work from Feuscher and Hoffman great the interplay between them is pretty good um, screaming for a love by again great riffs great drumming a little bit clean though in production it needs to be a bit more heavier too high to get it right chanting back and vocals again ugh. dogs on leads leads classic heavy metal here from the bass line to the two guitars great vocal pretty cool Teach us to survive. The drumming here at the beginning is very jazzy. It's more. Then it goes. Back into heavy metal drumming. Great track. Living tonight for tonight. Not very inspiring. Bit of a weaker track. Bound, bound to fail. Solid track. Love the solo. Okay, it's a very good album. A lot of people think this is the best album they've done. But because it's that mid-80s sound, the production in some of the tracks is a little bit weak to me. Um, if they'd done it now, with the, the better production it'd be in it, this would be higher. But I'm going to still give it an RTO ranking of 8.3. 
Okay, coming in at number five, we go to the 15th album released in 2017, The Rise of Chaos. First except album to feature Yul Lewis on guitars and drummer Christopher Williams. It was also the final album to feature longtime bassist Peter Boltes. So we've got Mark Tornillo, Wolf Hoffman, Yul Lewis. Or Louis, Peter Baltz and Christopher Williams, Die by the Sword. Great heavy metal title, great bass line from Peter, and some great guitar work. Hole in the Head, another strong track here, just modern day heavy metal, and it's brilliant. Rise of Chaos, even though there's lots of chanting in this, it's still a good track. Kool Aid. The start of it is some great work from Hoffman. Excellent stuff. Um, no regrets. Power drumming here from Christopher Williams. Sounds great. What a way to make a mark on your debut with a band. And Mark's vocals on this are brilliant. Good old fashioned heavy metal. Analog man. It's got that great bass on this. Great heavy metal again. What is done is done. Don't like that track at all. I don't know what's. I can't even put the. Say why I don't like it. I just don't like it. Um, Worlds colliding. Another ripper here. Absolutely out the top drawer. Carry the weight. More fast and furious heavy metal. Race to Extinction, I love this. The interplay between the two guitarists is fantastic. They're having a whale of a time. It makes you wonder how much of that was actually planned or they just went off and did some jamming, man. Great vocal for Mark. Not a bad track on this. Top to bottom. Solid album. Okay, it, it, you know, we haven't got Udo in the band, but the, the sound is still great, and the sound sounds a lot better than when they first started, I think. And I'm going to give this an RTO ranking of 8.5. Okay, coming in at number four. We have the 10th album from 1994, Death Row. Okay, on here we've got Stefan Kaufman was still the official drummer, but drums on Bad Habits or Die and Prejudice. Um, unfortunately, um, Stefan Kaufman had health issues, um, so they, he was replaced by Stefan Schwartzman. So we've got drumming. By you, uh, drumming's done by the both Stephens, Kaufman, and Schwartzman. Udo's on the vocals, Wolf guitars, Peter bass. First track, Death Row. Starts off with some interesting effects on the guitar, stonking stuff. I like that. Sodom and Gomorrah. Great guitar solo from Wolf on this belter the beast inside this is classic heavy metal isn't it it's just great stuff vocal from Udo is wonderful he's at his best on this again um, dead on solid track love the drums I think the drums on this are Stefan Kaufman awesome stuff great guitar solos effects on this are amazing and even the chanting's not too bad. Gonzarus. Catchy tune. Drumming on it again is great. Like a loaded gun. Thumping bass line. Great guitars. Uh, the effects on this stand out to me. What else? I keep coming with these great tracks. Fast and Furious. Stone Evil. Best track on the album. I've got some little heavy metal riffs on this absolutely brilliant um, bad habit bad habits die hard 
I'd say one of the weaker tracks on it, but it's not bad. It's just box standard. Produce, solid enough. Um, bad Religion, absolutely belting track. Um, Generation Clash 2, wonderful bass line from Peter. Follows up with some great Wolf guitar riffs. Love it. Writing on the Walls, one of the weaker tracks on the phone. Drifting Apart is a instrumental and it's just some great interplay between Wolf Hoffman and Peter Bolts. And the last track is Pomp and Circumstance. Yes, Land of Hope and Glory. I don't know if they're having a dig at the British or taking the mickey at us, but it's not a bad little guitar solo from Mr. Wolf Hoffman. This is quite a long uh, album. It's got 15 tracks on it. But because they're sharp, short and punchy, you don't realise that um, it's a long album. It's a good album. Um, so I'm going to give it an RTO ranking of 8.8. .8. Okay then, coming in at number 3. 13th album. Released in 2012. Stalingrad. I've just tell you when the uh, I've just remembered Blood of Nations came out in 2010 because <laughs> it's actually here in my notes about this album. <laughs> so yeah, it's 2010 for the Blood of Nations. I'll just put it in the things, just tidy it all up. Um, so we got Mark Torlino on the lead vocals, Wolf. Hoffman on guitar, Herman Frank on guitar, Peter Baltes on the bass, and Stefan Schwartzman on the drums. First track, Hung, Drawn and Quartered. Solid track. Love the guitar work between Herman and Wolf on this. Excellent. Stalingrad, epic. Stunning. Great guitar solos on this. I just love that track. Hellfire, favourite track. From start to finish, we've got great riffs, great singing. Tells the story, tells a story. Brilliant stuff. Flashback, flash to bang time. Fast and furious drums here from Stephen Schwartzman. Wolf's guitar work on there is brilliant. Shadow Soldiers. The acoustic guitar on this actually gives it a little bit of atmosphere great song revolution fine vocal performance by mark one of his best with the band um, against the world another great track great riffs in this tap foot tapping head banging stuff twist of fate now and again you get um, a heavy metal band coming up with a bit different I think Iron Maiden have done it and it's this is a mellow track but the lyrics are great and the production on it is fantastic and i love it the quick and the dead nothing to do with uh my iron maiden but it's it's a typical great um track heavy metal riffs all over the place and the drumming is brilliant on it uh, the Gallery, again some great guitar work here between Wolf and Herman. Great way to end the album. Um, I think this is the best album that Mark Tolino's done with the band. Um, it's one of their best albums. It's got some brilliant tracks on it. Heavy sub subject matter but it's a brilliant album and I'm going to give it an RTO ranking of 9 out of 10 ok then coming in at number 2 we get to the ninth album released in 1993 it was the first album that featured Udo Dirkschneider on lead vocal since Russian Roulette in 1986 Overjet uh, objection overruled. Udo Dirk Schneider, Wolf Holtman, Peter Baltz, and Stefan Kaufman. First track is the title track over 
Objection overruled. Solid track. Great to see Udo back in the band and opens up with a killer. I don't want to be like you. More driving riffs and booming bass lines. Oh, love that track. Um, Protectors of Terror. One of the weaker tracks on here, but it has got a nice ripping guitar riff on it. Slaves to Metal. Another solid track. Great vocals from Udo. All or Nothing. Slower paced on the album, but it's a pretty decent track. Um, Bulletproof. Another stonger here. Even a little bit of the chanty vocals is in there, but it actually works. Now, my favourite track on here is actually a slower track. And it's called Amos La Vida. Great um, vocal from Udo. Singing um, shows that he doesn't he doesn't just screech and sing great heavy metal. He can sing properly as well. Nice song. Sick, dirty, and mean. Wolf Holman is on fire. Brilliant track. Donation solid. Rock and roll. Great stuff. Just my own instrumental. Great. Hoffman is a great guitar player, without a doubt. Um, this is this is one for you again. I love this because it's proper heavy metal. Lots of wang bar on this. Yeah, it reminds me of you know some of the wang bar is very um, Gary Moore, and it's a brilliant, brilliant track. So a triumphant return for Udo on this album. A solid vocal performance from him. He is an incredible metal singer. Uh, we are going to be looking at his solo career, so don't worry fans of Udo. Um, so I'm going to give this album an, um, an RTO ranking of 9.4. Okay, my number one. I think it's an album that if you're into heavy metal, everyone gets it, even if you've not got many albums by this band like me. But this one, I think everyone's got this. It's their fifth album, released in 1983. That's Balls to the Wall. On here we've got Udo Dirk Schneider, Wolf Hoffman, Herman Frank, Peter Boltos and Stefan Kaufman. Opens up with the iconic Balls to the Wall. It's, just, it's, it's the best song they ever did and it is one of the most iconic heavy metal songs. It's my favourite because it, you know when it came out it was a great anthem. Fantastic track. London Leather Boys, another great track. Love the start of this. The drumming from Stefan and Pete comes in with that great bass line. And then you get the two guitarists coming in. It's just solid heavy metal. Fight it back. Again, the drumming from Stefan Kaufman on here is absolutely electric. I love that thumping double bass drum. Um, head over heels. Again, Peter's bass line. Brilliant. Drives this song along at a ferocious pace. And you get the little bits of Wolf's guitar solo around it. It's fantastic. Losing more than ever you had. One of my favourite um, Wolf Hoffman solos. And I love Herman Frank's um, riffs that he works around this solo. It's tremendous. Love tri Child, solid track. It's, uh, it's not my particular favourite of mine, but it's a good track, Never, nevertheless. Turn Me On, another grinding heavy metal riff here to start the song with them drums. Blows your socks off. Um, losers and winners, Udo's vocal on this is absolutely fantastic. Those little licks from Wolf, brilliant. One of my favourite tracks on the album. Guardian of the Night. Interesting start to this one. It's a little bit medieval. And then it goes in some great heavy metal. What more do you want? Um, Winter Dreams. One of them tracks. 
It's a little bit different, but it works. Great way to end the album. Okay, it's my number one because I think it's it's a, it is an album for my childhood. Well, for my teen years, I've been playing this album from day one, and I think it's an iconic metal album. Um, I would say this is accepts British Steel, their Number of the Beast. Great albums. Absolutely brilliant stuff. And I'm going to give this an RTO ranking of 9.5. Okay, um, we're getting through your uh, requests. Still got quite a few to do, so we've got another good one next week. Um, that's all for day because it's marathon day. And this takes forever to load up. Um, tomorrow being Thursday, we've got then and now, and tomorrow we're doing Kiss. Uh, look at their first and maybe their last album who knows and album artwork tomorrow we're looking at the artwork of progressive metal legends as this week it was John's 55th birthday and in celebration we will be looking at their covers of their albums all of them live as well so something to look forward to tomorrow. Have a great day, everyone. Or have a great evening whenever you're watching this. And I'll see you tomorrow. Take care for now.